Hello, my name is Tiz, and in this Tiz Teaches video, I'll be showing you how to find Richter in the world of light of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So unlike most fighters in adventure mode, Richter will only appear if a certain condition is met. And that's here in the Dracula's Castle area of the Dark Realm. Richter will appear for you once you've cleared out the area of all 11 phantoms. When that happens, Richter will appear here in front of the boss battle with Dracula. Keep in mind, you can do this during your first playthrough, or you can do this later on, even if you've defeated Dracula already. Now I'm going to show you a map of the location of the seven cannonballs that I'll be using in this video to take out all 11 of the phantoms. If you need any other help with the spirits in this area or in World of Light in general, please go to IGN.com wikis to view our guide there for Smash Brothers, the World of Light, and a bunch of other stuff in the game. You can usually find me there editing the spirit section of that guide. All right, let's get started. I am resetting each area as I go by so you can see how it was when, when you first got there. And just follow this route and you'll be fine. There's various ways to do this, I would imagine, but this one I found pretty easy. So uh, this first cannon, we're going to shoot that first phantom with one cannonball. Then we saw there's a phantom upstairs. So we have to go up to the roof, but before that, we're going to take a pit stop, go over to the right, flip the switch so we could get through. So we're going to now be able to head on to the roof and take out phantom number two. Great. Then we're going to go head downstairs this time, and we're going to go down to those caverns. And like I said before, I had reset the area. I'll do it for you one more time. So we, here we saw one, two, three, four, five phantoms this time. So with this one, there's one that's really out of the way, and then these guys are right there together. So those will be easy to take out. One thing that I'd suggest is flip this switch before you go up those, that ladder. There you go, and we're going to turn that beam. Then go up to the left and shoot those two. Boom, boom. Two for one cannonball nice then take out this one and then lastly if you remember there was a, a, a phantom over on that top tower and so we flip that beam so that we can shoot this and then bank it went right up the tower all right so we have two cannonballs left we have four phantoms left so now we have to be sure uh, to make every cannonball count all right so we're going to head on over to the clock tower. The clock tower portion can seem pretty tricky because of all the phantoms, the cannons, and the switches in the area. So as you can see, there are one, two, three, four phantoms. There are four cannons. There's a couple of beams and a switch. All right. Now don't get overwhelmed. All you have to do is go up, and you can walk over these gears and go up again and flip this switch. With that switch flipped, you're going to head on down all the way to that cannon and simply shoot it. And this will take care of most of our phantom problem. There you go. Now that that's done, we're going to head on over these gears again, head back down, and with this cannon, we're going to bank a shot off of this beam that resets every time you, you do that first hourglass and it should take out our last phantom like this. Here's the footage of the first time I did this, and you can see Richter appear there, and you can still see that I hadn't cleared out all the spirits and the fighters yet. That fighter right above is Robin, and then there's an Alucard spirit before you can get to Richter. But once you beat Alucard, you'll be able to get to Richter, no problem. And he's a pretty tough fight, but again, there's no weird rules like lava floors or anything like that, so just take on your best fighter, and good luck. Hope this video helps you out, and stay wonderful. Bye.